Meanwhile, first at Ford investigation is underway after a woman drove into a Brown County grocery store, killing the man riding with her. This happened late Sunday night at the IGA just outside of Nashville. And that store is also closed today. Fox 59's Max Lewis explains what we know now and the impact it's having on that small community. Just after 11 Sunday night, the Brown County Sheriff's Office was called after this Chevy Trailblazer drove into the IGA grocery store. Deputies say 41-year-old Amanda Beaver was drunk behind the wheel. Her male passenger was pronounced dead at the scene. So reckless, so, so inconsiderate and not even thinking of the repercussions of what could happen and what obviously now has happened. Fox 59 received a tip that Beaver was also behind the wheel when a car ran into a Speedway gas station back in March. We asked Nashville police as well as the county prosecutor and neither would confirm that. At the time, police say the driver admitted to taking an unknown amount of prescription medication. Toxicology results from that incident are still pending. As for Sunday's crash, the grocery store is still closed and plywood covers a gaping hole. There's still a pile of car parts and a mangled crate that was holding propane tanks. A representative from the store says the damage was mostly to office space and no products were damaged. The only store that's here isn't yeah. open. The impact of this incident has been pretty significant on this community. IGA is the only true grocery store in this area. All day we have seen people pull into the parking lot, see the yellow caution tape, and turn right back around. And I tried calling all day yesterday and got no answer, and I thought this is really strange. Christine Arnold was one of those people. She came to the store to pick up some food for a party. She can drive the distance to another store, but knows others can't. The local people, it's the only place to go. Beaver was booked into jail on preliminary charges of operating while intoxicated, resulting in death, as well as serious bodily injury. The prosecutor has yet to file formal criminal charges. In Brown County, Max Lewis. Fox 59 News. Max, thank you. A representative from the grocery store said they received clearance this afternoon from the building inspector to reopen. They expect to do so tomorrow morning.